Oh man, you could do soccer or track or anything you wanted. Signing off for now, Von Bernhardt. Sometimes it's hard to see in our school and our everyday life that God is involved and like being here, you can see how involved he is and how much people love him. It's a great experience. You get to meet a lot of new people. <laughs> uh, it's really fun uh, playing sports with my friends. Yep. Uh, it's it's a pretty good time. I, I don't know what to do with my hands, but it's a good time, you know, uh, having fun, getting closer to God. Are you going to camp this year? I am going to camp this year. I'm so excited. Riley, this is a very serious question. Are you going to find a husband at FCA camp this year? Uh, yeah, I mean, I just got dumped, so I'm hoping so. <laughs> Are you Hey, I'm being a truthful here. <laughs> what do you like about Fields of Faith? Fields of Faith is a really fun way to get everybody to come and learn about Jesus because everybody likes sports, everybody likes doing activities, so it's a good way to get people to come out. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every single one of you are made in the image of God. It's amazing. Like it just feels so good that you think like you can make an impact on someone who you know or someone who you don't know. And it's just it's amazing to look out there when you're speaking and just to see all the people and just to hope that you have an impact on them and that they can really grow in their faith and yeah, you use these things that we're talking about to really like deepen their relationship with God. It feels really great to be able to put this on for other people. I know in the fall I went to the Genesee one and it was really fun to be at and just hang around people like this. Why is it so important? that we do that as believers? Uh, because definitely at school it's hard to keep faith when a lot of people aren't faithful. So surrounding ourselves with that just helps us keep that. So many people do sports and if you can bring sports in with faith, it just it hits a gold mine. And yeah, I don't know, it's just doing this and hearing um, from your peers instead of adults, it just hits different. It just knows, makes you know that you have people around you that have faith or, and are in the same boat as you. Well, you got up, you were courageous with your testimony. What did you see looking back at you? Just a bunch of kids listening. Um, I just, I know a lot of those middle schoolers and just some of the other kids around the schools and I just, I love to encourage them and get them on the right faith path and I love when they do it for me too. I really see hope for the future. You know, this is like the next generation of um, FCA leaders we're gonna have and middle schoolers are coming up. We got a really strong group. And so I'm just really excited to see them so engaged and you can tell that their fire for Christ is just being lighted. Just seeing all of these older people uh, talk so openly about their faith, I really hope that we can light a fire in their, in their hearts. Why do we need to keep doing stuff like this, whether it's a big event in a gym or just uh, the regular huddle during the week, you know? Yeah, I think we really grow in community. We really thrive in community. We need people. The, the pandemic was not good for us, you know? So might as well, now that we're out of this pandemic, we can socialize well again, might as well make the most of it. I think we need to keep keep spreading the word and it's so much easier when you're in a community too. Like when you have a community of believers, it's so much easier to lean on each other and rely on each other and grow in faith together. Help spread the word in Jesus' name. Thank you, Olivia. Let's give one more round of applause for all these great speakers we had tonight.